Okay, here we're going to look at solving some more equations, uh, in this case containing some integers. And it'll just be a little uh, variety of uh, problems. Uh, you know, you may have to add, you may have to subtract, you may have to multiply to solve. But uh, we'll go through all three of these uh, in, this exam in this video. So in part A, we have x minus 7 equals 10. Well, to get the x by itself, since we're subtracting 7, we'll add 7 to both sides. We'll be left with x on the left side. 10 plus 7 is 17. And that'll be our solution to part A. Okay, so for part B here, we have 45 equals x minus negative 3. Well, we can certainly rewrite this. We have a negative multiplied by a negative, that's equivalent to a positive, so we could write x minus negative 3 as just x plus 3. And again, if I want to solve for x now, since I'm adding 3 to both sides, what I'm going to do is just subtract 3 from both sides. So 45 minus 3 is 42. We're left with the x on the right side, and we have our solution to part b. Uh, our solution will be the value 42. Let's go ahead and look at uh, part C here as well. So we have negative P over 8 equals negative 6. I'm going to kind of do this in two steps. You could certainly, uh, you know, do everything here in just uh, one step, but... What I'm going to do is, first off, to get rid of the negative on the left side, is I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1. So a negative multiplied by a negative is a positive, so that's going to leave us with p over 8 on the left side. And negative 6 multiplied by negative 1 is going to leave us with positive 6. And now the last thing we're going to do here is simply multiply both sides by 8. Since we're dividing by 8 on the left side, we'll multiply by 8. So the 8s will cancel out. We'll be left with 1p on the left side. 6 times 8 is 48. And that's going to give us our solution to uh, the third equation here. So our solution will be the value p equals 48.